We are back live in the Thomas and Mack Center and ready for the tail of the tape for the featherweight upcoming fight between Basil Lomachenko and Jose Ramirez. You can see the two-year age advantage for Ramirez. Lomachenko has been busy representing Ukraine in international amateur boxing, winning two Olympic gold medals and racking up a historic record as an amateur. He's got a two-inch height advantage. He's got equal arm length to Ramirez at 23 inches. He weighed in at 125, a pound under the featherweight limit, and Ramirez was a half pound over. Tonight, unofficially, Ramirez goes up to 135 and will have a six pound weight advantage against the southpaw Lomachenko in the ring. What fighter on the planet could have greater incentive at this moment than Jose Ramirez, who is from Mexicali, Mexico? He has a record of 24, two and two. He's never made any money as a professional prize fighter. In his last official fight, he went to the Philippines to fight Ray Bautista, knocked him out for a win, and afterwards, though promised a first of $20,000, says that he left the Philippines with only $1,000. He knows that he's making 20 grand tonight and fighting against a guy who's making $100,000 in his professional boxing debut. He is clearly here as the B-side. He's in his first fight in the United States. And again, who could possibly have greater incentive than Ramirez? Well, this is being billed as Lomachenko's pro debut. But in fact, he's had a half dozen pro fights just because an amateur federation says we won't count them as pro. If you fight five rounds with no headgear and most importantly, get paid, you're a professional. Larry Merchant, of course, had a great line. Considering Lomachenko told us he made about $80,000 US for those six fights, and Ramirez made 1,000 for his fight in the Philippines, this is actually Ramirez's pro debut. <laughs> More <laughs> than great, Lomachenko's. <laughs> a really great point. Lomachenko fought those six fights in an event called the World Series of Boxing. As Max points out, they were five rounds. They were without headgear. He claims they were with amateur style gloves not professional gloves. There are conflicting reports on that. Uh, the record keeping services for boxing do not yet recognize them officially as professional fights, giving the promoter the chance to build this as his professional debut. And it's not necessary. Lomachenko is a special fighter. Look, not everybody loves the sweet science. Uh, many just want to see blood and guts warriors, and I like them as much as the next guy but occasionally you have a chance to see a special kind of skillful fighter. And in Lomachenko, Roy, I think that's what we see. That's exactly what you see. You don't often find a guy who can win, with the exception of Guillermo Rickendahl, who can win two gold medals consecutively back to back in the Olympics. That's like having a LeBron James and a Kobe Bryant come through all at once. And how about this, Roy? Reportedly, 396 amateur fights, of which he won 395. <laughs> and beat the guy who beat him twice. It's a mind blowing statistic. And we'll see if Lomachenko can bring something in his first appearance in a prize fight ring in America to underline all that hype and all that expectation which surrounds him at this moment. Let's go to Michael Buffer for the official introductions. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the action continues courtesy of Win Las Vegas and brought to you by Top Rank Incorporated. This contest presented in association with All-Star Boxing, sponsored by Tecate Con Character, Wingstop, the wing experts, and Value Casa de Bolsa. The three judges scoring at ringside are Adelaide Bird, Lisa Jampa, and Dick Houck. And inside the ring, in charge of the action at the bell, Russell Mora. And now, ladies and gentlemen, 10 rounds of boxing for the WBO International Featherweight Championship. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing black with yellow, official weight, 126 pounds. As a professional, 24 victories, including 15 knockouts, two defeats, two draws. He comes to us from Mexicali, Baja California, Mexico. Champion Jose El Negro Ramirez. And fighting out of the red corner, wearing yellow with blue, official weight 125 pounds. Tonight, 
He makes his professional debut. He is a two-time Olympic gold medal champion from Odessa, Ukraine. Tommy Gaspada Vasil High Lomachenko. One second. Centering. Okay, gentlemen. We went over the rules in the dressing room. Trunks here are good. Trunks here are good. You know what I expect? A clean fight. I want to remind you, protect yourself at all times. Obey my commands at all times. God bless. Touch up. Not pizza. Correcting one sloppy piece of information. I told you on the way to the ring that uh, Ramirez in his last fight beat Ray Bautista in the Philippines. I said by knockout. It was not a knockout. It was a split decision. But the one ballot that went against him was so obviously a homer ballot that even the Filipino fans booed that particular uh, scorecard. So clearly he was the obvious winner in the fight against Bautista. Now he faces Lomachenko, who comes in with as big a reputation as we've seen for any amateur since Roy Jones, a distinction he probably shares also with Guillermo Rigondeaux, who's already a world champion in the sport. Yeah, he has a hell of a reputation, Jim. I have never seen an amateur record so impressive in my life, and I think this has to be the best amateur record I ever seen. So I think the guy's going to live up to his expectations because he's already shown in those five previous fights that he has a hell of a future in front of him. Slightly numerically better as an amateur record than Gennady Golovkin's 345 and 5. <laughs> Although Golovkin's list of opponents is astonishing. Watch your head. Watch Lomachenko your head. does not this. throw a lot of punches. He fights at a Juan Manuel Marquez type pace. About 40, 45 punches per round. Stop. And Ramirez is already down on one knee as the result of a right hand body Six, shot by Lomachenko. Seven, eight, nine. Come here. Give me your gloves. Good. Give me gloves. And that was just a perfectly placed body shot of the kind that takes your legs away. And that's very impressive, Jim. Now I'm being told by the truck that it might have been a headshot. Lomachenko has fast hands. I may have miscalled it. Watch your head. Stop! Anytime you see Watch a guy kicking Watch his feet head. on the floor like he was, that's usually indication of a body shot. I thought so, too. But replay Watch will tell Watch the tale for sure. And we're told, we're now told that it's both, a body shot and a head shot. But the body shot did the serious damage. Ramirez has never been knocked out in his career. He's already been down in this fight. A minute still to go in the first round. And Ramirez seems to want to get back at Lomachenko. Try to even the score just a little bit. That could be dangerous against a guy with great counter-punching skills. Could be very dangerous against a guy like Lomachenko. Ramirez is the aggressor. He's going to make Stop. Lomachenko work. No, 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 no. Let go. Let go. Lomachenko doesn't have to feint and work and set up opportunities, as is sometimes the case for him. And Ramirez is really trying to make this an interesting fight, Jim. Well, he understands, and as three, do all three. boxing experts at ringside. Stop. Lomachenko's never been 10 rounds in a prize fight ring. And that's going to be the question is, if he gets past round five, how does he hold up to that? Quick hands, precise offensive action. Olamachenko dominated the first round and knocked Ramirez down. Okay.
He sees his beautiful left uppercut to the solar plexus from Lomachenko. You can't ask for a better body shot, followed by a right hook to the ear, but that right hook to the ear didn't do nearly as much damage as that left body shot underneath did. And if you, it had, you see his knees buckle when he backed up. See that left body shot right there? It doesn't get any better than that. Delayed reaction knockdown, and again, that's part of what told you that the body shot did the damage. Exactly. You saw no buckling from the head shot. You saw him get the delayed reaction, then kick the floor once he was down. So now round two gets underway. Lomachenko with an early scorecard advantage in the fight. Right hook landing flush against five, the cheek of Ramirez. Five punch combination, Jim, something you very rarely see nowadays in professional boxing. And I was impressed because he said he went to the wild card gym. We asked him what was the one thing that he saw different from the gyms he's been going to. He replied and said that the boxers over in Europe are far more technical than the American fighters are nowadays. More time in the wild card, Jim, would probably serve him well. <laughs> so that he can see some more of what you would call freestyle fighting. As opposed to what he's seen in, in Europe from all the technical fighters over there. Nothing wrong with being technically precise. Every well, once in a while, guys go to war. Exactly. But that technical preciseness is what's causing us not to win medals as amateurs anymore in the Olympics. And Lomachenko will have to be in good shape tonight. Oh, good one, good shot. Another amazing combination. To keep up this kind of pace against a guy who has been 10 rounds before. And immediately after that brilliant combination, you saw Lomachenko's head movement skills as he perfectly ducked the two punches that Ramirez threw to try to get back at him. And I'm very impressed by these four and five punch combinations, Jim. This is what I think a real prize fighter should be made of. the increasing globalization of boxing and the increasing spread of talent all around the planet you look harder and harder to try to figure out which fighters from foreign shores can duplicate what Manny Pacquiao achieved and become pay-per-view type stars in the United States Vladimir and Vitaly Klitschko may ultimately have been able to achieve that but they wound up making more money in Germany and frankly too much money in Germany to need to risk the chance of trying to become big stars here a lot of people think that Gennady Golovkin may have the stuff to become a pay-per-view star in the United States. And then you have Lomachenko, who comes out with this vast reputation. Yeah, you, you can go a little bit faster than you are right now. You're getting used to it, son, so go ahead. Jesse, you're doing well. Do faster, a little bit faster than what you've been doing. He see Lomachenko land a beautiful five-punch combination with a throw. One, two, three of them landed perfectly. Four landed high on the head, and the fifth one just grazed the opponent. But that's a beautiful five-punch combination. Then when you have orthodox on the right hand to fight of the fight, that left or lead foot sometimes gets tangled, and he went down from a knee-to-knee -knee collision, not a knockdown. A hot tackle by Ramirez. Lomachenko, by CompuBox count, landed 25 of 52 punches in the second round to 13 of 76 for Ramirez. 24 of Lomachenko's 25 landed punches were power shots. No Good. So even though he is that. described I and I think well defined as a technical good, fighter, good. he's a technical head. fighter Watch who doesn't have to rely on his jab. If you want to fight with him, he'll land power punches in return. Yeah, he sure will. I think a headbutt just sent 
Uh, Ramirez to the canvas again. I don't like to see him go to the canvas so willingly, you know? What does it represent to you? It represents to me that he's not interested in staying on his feet. I mean, the last thing you want to do is go to the canvas. If the guy was on you and you needed a break from the head, but okay, but Lomachenko wasn't even on him. He just went to the canvas. You don't want to make a habit of going to the canvas, I don't think. Ramirez is still trying his hardest, though. He's not giving up here. He's really looking, willing, and, and capable of trying to pull off an upset. I don't think it'll happen for him, but he's trying. Well, by comparison to Lomachenko, he's a wild swinger. Exactly. Uh, and, and as a result, he leaves himself open for countering opportunities, which Lomachenko answers not with one punch, but with four or five. Suertalo, <laughs> suertalo. Stop! No, 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 no. Low blow. You're gonna get your punches up, okay? Get him up. Let's go. Other thing you have to respect here is that Ramirez right, did right, come right, in right, with a plan, you can tell. His plan was to try Stop. to push Lomachenko hard for no, a 10 round not. period since he has never gone 10 rounds before. So he does have a decent plan. And we're only in round three. And Lomachenko's never gone beyond five. Right, 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 so it will be fascinating no, 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 no. to see, as I said, what out. happens when we get to round seven, eight, and nine. But given the kind of athlete Stop. Lomachenko is, and there are already legends about things that he does in the gym, such as bouncing all the way across the ring, vertical, upside down, on his extended gloves, as though the gloves were twin pogo sticks. No, 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 and he's no, no. able to keep his balance no, no. while doing it. Let's go. In fact, a dream of top-ranked promotions as a way of gathering attention for Lomachenko is to, at some point, bring him to the weigh-in and Swear have him get on the scales Upside down in a handstand. Time! Beginning November 9, it's the three part series 24 7 Pacquiao Rio. Follow both fighters as they prepare to meet live on pay per view November 23 from Macau, China. Yeah, put your hands up a little bit, the left foot too. Try to move a little bit laterally faster a little bit. Don't worry about him too much. You can move better. Use your head. of a scheduled 10 here in Las Vegas. Harold Letterman, how do you have it through the first three? <laughs> Look at you. I'm very impressed with Vesel Lomachenko. I've got a 3 to nothing, 30 to 26 Vesel Lomachenko. you got to give him an extra point for the knockdown of round one. And hey, i got to tell you, this. his movement is sensational. His punches are sensational. The combinations are sensational. And his fast hands are incredible. Jim, i got one quick question for you. Why does Russell yeah, Moore keep go. talking to Ramirez Stop. in English? I mean, down. the guy's from Mexicali, number four in the United States. You would think he has a hard time on English, and Russell Morris speaks Spanish. But these are my three to nothing Lomachenko. It's a heck of a question, and there is no logical answer. <laughs> Vasil Lomachenko's trainer, incidentally, is his father, Anatoly Lomachenko. But his manager, Agus Klimas, acknowledged to me yesterday that Joey Gamash, who's serving as the chief second in the corner, who was himself an excellent professional prize fighter, who worked a great deal under the late, great Emmanuel Stewart, may ultimately become Lomachenko's professional trainer. And that there's a period of time now in transition where he'll get to know Lomachenko, get to see him in the gym, get to watch his father work with him, and ultimately, most likely, Lomachenko will trans uh, transition himself head, to the professional head. training of Joey Gamash. Jim, I was uh, in the locker rooms doing interviews. Have you mentioned Lomachenko's front foot? 
Uh, I have not mentioned Lomachenko's front foot, and you should tell us about it, Max. I, I've, the way, he, as active as he is with that lead foot, Roy, he constantly gets position on the outside, and Stop. once he gets position, he has the angle to punch. He's in good defensive position. Put your hands. Without cabeza. Without I, I don't know cabeza. if I've ever seen a front foot so active on a fighter. Well, you know, there's so much mystique and so much talk about him. I got to ask you, were Bradley and Marquez watching Lomachenko? No. No. Okay. They got other work on their minds? No. Okay. Serious business. Serious business. The right foot is always on the outside. Look, so he's always in punching. He he's always has the angle. The one thing Ramirez can't do is sit back and let him bring the fight to him like this. You let Lomachenko bring the fight to you, you're a dead man for sure. I will tell you this, uh, Max. He threw some combinations while you were gone that were mind-blowing. Uh, there, there is a, a touch of blood under Lomachenko's right eye. That's right, that's right. I'm looking to try to figure out exactly what that is. Maybe a cut on the right cheek of Vasil Lomachenko. And that could have come from a punch or a butt. Good body shot. Oh, oh another body shot knocked down. Three. He won't recover from that one, I don't think. I wonder Five, whether Ramirez will get six, up from this one. Seven. That was a thunderous shot, and Russell Moore is going to wave it off. <laughs> Ramirez went halfway across the world to beat Ray Bautista in the Philippines and gets stopped with one body shot by Lomachenko. Phenomenal. You don't want to buy in too willingly to the height, but that was a phenomenal looking performance by an extraordinary athlete. Roy, real recognized real. As a special fighter, you know it when you see another special fighter. Do you see that in Lomachenko? Without a doubt. I told Joe Lampley that, I think, after the first five-punch combination I saw, you don't see many true fighters that can do that in this country anymore. He throwing four or five-punch combinations, that's a real fighter right there. They're built top rank. Bob Arum would like to make Lomachenko and Rigondeau before too long, maybe another fight or two. And I would like to see it before too long because that will have to be the first time in history that we see two two-time gold medalists at war in a professional fight. Fighting on a professional level at extremely high level. Well, as we mentioned, that was billed as his professional debut. The plan is for him to fight for a title in the next fight. Roy, take us through the replay. Well, right there you saw him counter with three body shots, basically. The last one landing the best. The last one was the one that Ramirez was least expecting. Right there, left, right, followed by another left at the end. And Ramirez was about to throw his own punch, caught him right off guard, not set, not almost ready for the shot. And that's why I did so much damage to him. Legendary Knights. Arturo Gatti and Mickey Ward coming up on October 19. That shot reminds you of the punch that Gatti used to knock out Leonard Doreen. A left-hand body shot directly on the solar plexus. What a beautiful punch. So the blood on the right cheek doesn't matter now. As Vasil Lomachenko has a TKO victory, let's go to Michael Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, the end comes at 2 minutes 59 seconds of round number four. The winner by knockout victory, winning his professional debut and winning the WBO International Featherweight Championship, the fighting pride of Odessa, Dami Gaspada, Vasil Haitig Lomachenko. Final copy box numbers. Lomachenko landing 43% of his punches and landing several of them in bunches. Four and five punch combinations as we've been gushing about since the second round. Ramirez limited to a 20% connect percentage, demonstrating that Lomachenko has defensive skills as well to go with his great offensive talent. Power shots, Lomachenko landing 55%. How many times have we told you that if a guy lands more than half his power shots, he's likely to win the fight? Lomachenko getting hit 31 times to the body, landing 17 body shots of his own against Ramirez, 
And when 17 landed body shots produced two knockdowns, that's pretty efficient work to the body by Lomachenko. And now let's go to Max Kellerman in the ring with the winner. That was a lot of fun to watch. What kind of a grade do you give yourself for that performance? It's my first fight as a professional. I wanted to give a good match. I tried to keep my distance, but it, it didn't happen that way exactly. How did you get the cut? I didn't see. Я не знаю, ну, скорее всего, что опустил руки, как в боксе это бывает, и скорее всего, что это головой пропустил. It was a headbutt. I really don't know when it happened. You mentioned this is your first professional match, but you were in the World Series of Boxing, had half a dozen fights for which you were paid, no headgear, five rounds, didn't score any knockouts. Here, you knock out a very tough professional with one body shot. Can you explain? Мы когда с вами разговаривали тогда в первый раз, я вам сказал, есть отличия в перчатках и в тейпах. Why didn't it show up in the World Series of Boxing, but it showed up tonight? Почему это не показало, когда был в чемпионатах любовь? Потому что потому что там такие же перчатки, как и в любителях. Я говорил об этом. Because because of the gloves, like I explained, you can't close your face with the other gloves with amateur gloves. Top rank, your promoter has uh, Bob Arum's been talking about you and Rigandau in the not too distant future. What are your thoughts about that fight? So Bob Arum говорит, что ты Риганал скоро будете опять иметь бой. Что ты думаешь о счет этого? Я думаю, что Ригонда это великий боец, он очень сильный, и я думаю, что мне нужно провести еще несколько боев для того, чтобы встречаться с таким мастером, как он. I think it will be fine. I'll need a couple more fights before we go about it. Is that out of respect? <laughs> Is that out of respect for Rigandau's professional skill at this point? Thank you and congratulations. Tremendous performance. Okay. You have a well-earned reputation as a tough professional. You went halfway around the world to beat Bautista in his hometown. Here Lomachenko stops you with one body shot. Tell me about his quality as a fighter. Es un peleador muy muy rápido, este, con mucha experiencia, este, muy certero, y pues sí me, me conectó bien a la, a la boca del estómago. Ya no, ya no me pude recuperar de ese golpe. He's fast, he has lots of experience, he's got the power, and I couldn't continue after a shot to the solar plexus. Thank you. Jim.